on the off side. Oh. This is my gun. Ah. Okay. okay. This is old camera. And this is not a spring check, and today we're going to talk about... Uh, we're going to talk about how the people that make westerns today haven't got a clue what a western even is. They, well, because part of it is when I was talking about a western, it's like my idea of what a western is is probably similar to what other people think a western is. And it's more than wearing a cowboy hat. Okay, it's more than wearing, first of all, and boots and, boots and wearing a, a vest. Because for, here you got, first of all, I, 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 my father was in westerns from the 1920s forward. I was in the westerns from the 1940s forward, so I have a good idea about westerns. First, westerns, they do not wear glasses in westerns. Yeah. That, no, they do not wear glasses in westerns. Girls oh. don't even wear glasses in westerns. You know why? They, they didn't, didn't have, glass have glasses in westerns. Benjamin Franklin invented bifocals, but people didn't have optometrists. So. Second, only in Italian westerns where you see the cinch underneath your chin. Not in American Western. And you also do not see it with it down this way. In American Western, if you're going to have it on your hat at all, you basically have it on the back of your hat. Why on the back? Because it doesn't get in your way and it's like that, which means you can use it if you need it. But basically you it's just like that. It, it also folds the hat up on the sides. And, you've been, and this, is, this, is, this is how it's done. Westerns are all about tradition. My, mm -hmm. my, father, my father, who was in, uh, worked in, also he worked in a lot of John Ford things. He was a, my father was a second unit person. And uh, I played Indians a lot, you know. But uh, my father said the main ingredients of a Western was horseshit and ordinance. <laughs> because they said the horse manure, cow, manure, manure was everywhere you walked, folks. You, you couldn't walk without I mean, um, it's why, uh, okay, basically you had to have people that were actually used to being around horses to be in Western, because people that did not, of course, I did have one of my relatives, was Jack Starrett, who was the Durango kid. He actually was an Easterner that came back to make Westerns, but he also was born in the West. Mm -hmm. So he knew, uh, like, what makes a good Western, a Western actor? Well, if you're born in England, you generally aren't a good Western actor. Mm -hmm. If you're born in Canada you and around Calgary, you are a good Western actor. If you're born on the east coast of Canada, you're not going to make a good Western actor. Well, what makes a good Western actor then? What part of it is attitude. It's, re, it's attitude and respect for a genre. The, uh, there are two, two forms of, of writing that are distinctly American. One is a short story which is invented by Edgar Allan Poe and the second is the Western. Every country in the world makes westerns. The Russians make westerns, the Chinese make westerns, the Japanese make westerns. But it's their, it's their idea of what a it's western is. It's their idea of what a western is, and they don't do it well. They said, well, what about the spaghetti westerns? Well, the spaghetti westerns, uh, here's, like I said, this is, you always can tell the spaghetti western, even they have American, because they would do things like, you know, they like this. They put it on their chin? They put it on their Why? chin. Because they didn't, okay, this is it. The writers, okay, my father was saying that uh, there were westerns and then there was easterns. And eastern was done by somebody that said, well, I've seen a western or I've read a western book. They knew how to do it. Um, you, you know, I, I come from, like my father, because he was, he started out in the business, he basically progressed up the line into the good westerns. I started out in bad westerns, basically stayed in bad westerns, because that's the way it was when I came into the world. I worked Poverty Row, which really made bad westerns, and I did television stuff, which was cheap, cheap westerns. But um, yeah. in a western, what killed the western was in the 1950s, they decided to start making adult westerns. An adult western being was that the, the guy in the dark hat could be the hero. The guy in the white hat could be the bad person. Uh-oh. And people... Before it was black and white. Literally. It was black and white. It is always black and white, even if the movie's in color. You know the good guy from the bad guy. There is no slightly dis... You know, okay... Uh, free... There wasn't a gray area? No, there was no gray area. Uh, uh, an actor, in, uh, Robert Preston, who people know the music man, was one of those guys who spent a lifetime making westerns in the gray area. But he always, when you're in the gray area back in, when he, from his area, you got killed. 
You always got killed in the movie. You may have done something heroic, but you got killed because that was the Code of the West. Code of the West is basically when a person doesn't have a gun, you just go, go boom. They do that today in Westerns. They also cut, you know, they, they, uh, they, they, they dress like, they dress like it's somebody's idea from the East Coast what a cowboy should dress like. Mm -hmm. Cowboys tended to dress in long sleeve shirts, they tended to have longer hair, and, and they tended to wear gloves a lot and chaps because they rode through bramble bushes and they cut their legs up. And uh, they tended to wear oversized jeans because they didn't have jeans made for, they, did, they made jeans in one length, more or less, depending, no matter what your waistline was, they made it in one length. And why did they wear gun belts? Because they didn't have belt loops and jeans. The gun belt helped to hold their pants up. So it's all kind of the practical matter. It's all. The reason why, right? It's all functional. It's functional. You, you had two sets, the cowboys had two sets of boots. One was going to town boots and the other was work boots. They always court, you see a, cow, a true cowboy in a western. Like Glenn Ford wore, the, he wore a denim jacket all the time and wore denim pants and, and beat up boots because that's what, he was a cowboy from Calgary, Canada. Um, but most of the people that make westerns all own their own gear. I, I own my own, got my belt, my gun. You know, I had tack for my horse was all mine. Because it's something you, you want, you just don't get on a horse and make a western. Because you can always tell the ones that have never been on a horse because, okay, which side do I get on? Oh, you get on the horse from the right side. Horses don't like being mm -hmm. got on to the right side. They want to be got on from the left side. And they say, why? Well, it's something that is built into the horse. It's not what they're trained to do. Because you can, you know, uh, you can get on a horse from the right side if you don't put your foot on the stirrup. If you jump on the horse from the right side, they don't care a damn. But it's something putting that weight on the right side of the horse that basically can get you bumped on your butt. But um, today, uh, like my father stopped making westerns in uh, the early 1960s, and I think I was doing beach party things and, and television junk at that time. So. Uh, but they televised, they still make westerns, for, you get westerns on television. You can, okay, they say, well, nobody knows the Lone Ranger. Well, you can find the Lone Ranger playing on a TV station somewhere in the United States continually. Mm -hmm. The oldie channels basically compete with running the Lone Ranger. Running, uh, I mean, they're just adding, we have a western channel on cable. We, you can see Batman, you can, uh, Bat Masterson, you can see, the Lone Ranger, you can see Sergeant Prestron of the Mounties, you can see uh, Rin Tin Tin, you can see Westerns continually. So, well, the reason why the Lone Ranger did so badly because young people don't know Westerns. Um, Western is the most popular genre in the world. Okay, what happened a year ago over at Sourcing at Magic? What happened? Uh, I was ending up taking a lot oh, of pictures. Oh, yeah, yeah. From, they came over from China. You were like, we, we, you were from Western. Yeah, you big, you big star in China. You cowboy actor. Yeah, I, I was on the Virginian. I basically, um, um, what I did was I, I made certain the horses were, were where they were supposed to be, but I got to be on camera. That's that's called a wrangler. But because I was in like thirty some episodes. And I was visible with my blonde hair, which nobody else had, you know. You know, but the guy, the thing was on for like nine years and did two hundred and some episodes. I was in, like, I mean, uh, an actor like um, um, L. Q. Jones basically had actual speaking roles. Did I get to speak? No, but you're in it there enough that they recognize you. Because of the hair, that's what most people recognize me for. But it, it it's. You can't make a western with an entire cast and an entire and have production with people that have not made. Okay, here it was. Uh, we're going. We're doing this because the Lone Ranger is an example of how not to make a western. They uh, they used the wrong Indian gear for uh, an Apache Indian. They used a crow gear, and basically they figure, well, all Indians are the same. No, they're not. They're totally not the same. Comanches, Apaches, Arapaho, Navajo. My family happened to be Cherokees and Iroquois. So there's, those are two different Indian groups, folks, and they didn't really get along with one another. I mean, we'd have a man Iroquois and a woman Cherokee or a Cherokee woman and a 
uh, Cher a Cherokee woman, Arapaho man, they really did not like one another, which made for, which is why they also ended up Republicans and Democrats, just because they really hated one another. But um, uh, it just, you, you it, 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 if she doesn't know from Westerns, I do. The, um, everything about the Lone Ranger was done wrong. Everything. The, I mean, Jerry Buckheimer did make a, he did was a social producer on the Culpeper Cattle Company, I think it was. Mm. Ooh, it was an Eastern. Mm. They took a whole bunch of young kid actors and put them in a movie and dressed them like their idea how Westerns should be dressed. You know, uh, Western is real simple. You get yourself a gun on that doesn't belong in a time period because it's easier to pull out of a holster. You use a holster that didn't exist in that time period and you ride saddles that weren't available in that time period. Ah. Uh -huh. Yeah. That's a Western. That's what you look properly. You, uh, you also... You, no matter how dirty you've been on the range, when you go to town, you know, you're always clean, totally clean. So, uh, you also, when you get into bar fights, your hat never comes off because, um, guy, you know, basically I knew a man named Al Ratka who was in our gang. He, 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 he participated in lots of bar fights and he was in movies and he found out how they did it. Well, they, they bobby pin your hair to the hat. So the hat can't come off no matter how many times. And so, but here's a good one. If you're the bad guy, guess what happens? What? Your hat can come off. Oh. Good guy, the, the good guy doesn't shoot people in the back. There's a code of the West. The code of the West is not followed in modern Western because they actually they've never read, they never, they, since they've never seen a movie, they, they saw their ver like um, my guess is that Jerry Bruckheimer made The Lone Ranger based upon his first film called Pepper Cattle Company. And the other people made their their things based upon seeing modern westerns. A good modern western was actually Silverado. Mm -hmm. It basically uh, go look at movies that um, that um, Robert Duvall make. He makes good westerns. Kevin Costner makes good westerns mm -hmm. because they're paying homage to the western folks. And they're and paying attention to the. Details. They're paying attention to the details. So, but um, it, a western is the most simple thing to make in the world. You have to, the guy is basically wearing six shooters. That, that If you're a gun, here's the way it works. If you're a gunfighter, the gun is low on your hip. If you're not a gunfighter, you're like Errol Flynn, who wore his gun high on his belt. And they said, well, Errol Flynn was a European. Errol Flynn was from Tasmania, Australia, and basically have cowboys. Mm -hmm. They basically are cow, they make westerns. They use horse whips, which I could not believe, but they do make, they are cowboys in Australia. And you know, you can go to Hawaii and make a western? Yeah. Because Hawaii has horse ra has cattle ranches. Yeah, they do. They actually made a movie years ago called Castaway Cowboy, which I was in, with um, Vera Miles and, and James Garner. Well, James Garner basically was a cow he was a cowboy that was brought in there to, to do the stuff. So it they can make a decent western by having all the ingredients together and putting them in the right spot. But uh, you actually, they said, well, you, you know, you can't make a Western in Germany. Well, yes, you can make a Western in Germany because you have a Wild West show. Mm -hmm. And you have people that basically know what they're doing in it. Can you make, well, Westerns don't fit in in New York. Yes, because they have rodeos in New York. They have made good rodeo movies in New York. Uh, well, you can't make a Western in, in, in Mexico or South America. Well, yeah, because they have their version of cowboys called gauchos. And if, a gau if you put a gaucho in traditional Western clothes, they make damn good Westerns in South America and Mexico. Mm -hmm. Tony Aguilera was one of the best cowboy. He, okay, you have people, uh, Tony Aguilera and, um, uh, and, uh, and, Pe and um, Pedro Alanderas that basically are god awful great Western actors. They switch apart from the United States to, to Mexico, United States to Mexico. They go both ways because they're very good and convincing at what they do. They play good. Okay, in Dark Hat one day, they're bad guys. In the White Hat the next day, they're, they're leading, dashing, leading men. That's how it works. But um, a Western is a very, you, there's no special effects thrown in the Westerns. It's just guys on horses. Uh, the, the, the saloon girl with the gold, with the heart of gold that almost always pays for it in the end. Uh, and it's very simple dialogue, like you were talking last night, basically. You just, um, 
Uh, Clint Eastwood made a fortune for years. Doing <laughs>